I'd like to uh, thank you all, and I'm going to ask Ross, Councillor Ross Clow and fellow Westy to uh, thank our panel and thank you, Ross Clow. Thank you, Bob. Kia ora, talofa, lava malo ale, ni hawa, namaste, all. Um, I represent the Faux Ward, yes, another Westie, so I'm Avondale, Newland, Blockhouse Bay around there, and um, I chair the Finance Committee, and I can say I'm listening to a number of things, and, and it's not with trepidation, but we know a lot of these things cost a lot of money. I've been asked to just really summarise what are some of the key messages uh, that I'm hearing, and I'm going to be pretty quick about it. It seems to me, and I've known all this, because that seniors want to be respected, they want to be valued, they want to be listened to, not taken for granted, not treated as anonymous, not socially isolated, and allowed to contribute. Megan and the team, and I can trust you, the councillors, are aware of that. There's a good number of us that are seniors. I'm actually a senior, um, picked up my gold card last year, and uh, Winston, you love him or you hate him, but it doesn't matter. That's been a great innovation, and a big thing that the gold card does is it gets you out for free, and it gets you out. And these people are not socially isolated if you're able to get out and around, but you can get out and around for nothing, and that's the important element of the gold card. There are other advantages. I must admit I haven't used any of the others, but I've certainly used the public transport. I just want to give one little example about how hard it can be, though. There will be a number of you in this room that possibly use the car park by the, old, the town hall. There is a lift by the car park in the corner by the town hall. It is frequently broken. I have been debilitated a couple of times in the last six or seven months, one, once with a new knee and once, and I should say, the last four or five weeks with some significant back spasms. And I get out and then the lift is not working. So I've been battling away with Auckland Transport for over six months to get that lift fixed. There are some reasons, weather, etc., and unfortunately we're getting some destruction by people um, in the lift and that, so it's breaking down. But the bottom line is it's going on for too long because disabled people or seniors that just find the mobility a bit difficult are having to go right to the other end of the car park, come across the square. It's just not acceptable, but Megan's aware that sometimes things take a very long time. So I'm going to um, thank Bob, thank Janet, and Gloria, Elizabeth, Megan, Glenn. I think I mentioned you, Bob. Um, so, and I thank the audience for attending and, 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 and the online uh, audience that's out there. I want to give you an example, though, of how you can be doing these things, all those things by being involved, etc. is just the example of my good friend Janet Clues, who I've stood with a number of times um, out on Waitakere days. Now, I'm not allowed to mention Janet's age. Bob went through the men, but not the woman. So I'm not allowed to use that as an example. Um, but Janet's someone, as a politician, is the politician I've respected most. Uh, sorry about that, Bob. But... Uh, <laughs> But Janet has been doing, she's been, a, bar one year, has been a continuously elected official for 55 years now. Yeah, and Janet is still elected. I am chair of the Portage Licensing Trust out west. Janet has been a trustee and is still a trustee, I think, for 35 years. So thank you very much for coming. It's been a very good evening and we hope it's been positive for you. And remember all the feedback forms and sites, et cetera, et cetera. Thank you very much.